Hello and welcome to Amazon Tutorials. Today we're setting up the Amatron 3 Tractor ECU. Please read the operator's manual. This video is not intended to replace it. Ensure first the Amatron has been correctly installed into your tractor. Press the power button to switch the Amatron on. The Amazon emblem is briefly displayed. And depending on previous settings, the boot menu may be displayed. You have 10 seconds to choose the startup mode. You can select between Amabus or Isobus modes. After 10 seconds, Amatron 3 will start up in the previous mode, in this case, Amabus mode. Press key F1 to select Amabus mode. Choose this for use with older Amazon machines. Or press key F2 to select Isobus mode and choose this for use with any Isobus machines. Remember, Isobus machines have a 9-pin socket like this. Once loaded, Amatron 3 will default to one of four menus. In this example, we're in the Isobus menu. Use the toggle key to find Amatron 3 setup menu. <coughs> and toggle keys in the top right of the screen. This is the setup menu. It may be hidden. If so, press and hold the toggle key for three seconds. and the menu overview will be displayed. Here we can see the setup menu, the isobus menu and the GPS switch menu. Use the keypad to highlight the setup menu then press the enter key. Now use the keypad to highlight Tractor ECU. And press the Enter key. Press F1 to create a new tractor. A new tractor is created and the tractor name is highlighted. Press enter to rename it. Press key F6 to clear the existing default name. Then use the arrow arrows on the keypad to move the cursor and highlight the characters you want to use. Use the enter key to select each character one by one. And a handy tip is to include the tire size. Press key F4 to confirm the tractor name is correct. The new tractor name is displayed at the top. Use the plus and minus keys to highlight coupling data. This stage is not required if you do not have a GPS receiver. Press the enter key.
this is where we can put in the dimensions of the receiver receiver's position in relation to the rear axle and the hitch box A is already highlighted this is the position of the receiver in relation to the center line of the tractor normally the receivers are in the center of the tractor so leave this measurement as zero otherwise press the enter key and enter the distance of the receiver from the center line of the tractor Use the left and right arrow keys to move the cursor. Use the plus and minus keys to change that relevant number. Use a negative figure if the GPS receiver is to the left of the center line. Most receivers are in the middle, so the offset is zero. Once you're happy, press the Enter key. Now use the plus and minus keys to highlight dimension box B. Then press the Enter key. Using the keypad as before, enter the measurement from the GPS receiver to the rear axle in centimetres. Use a positive figure in centimetres if the receiver is in front of the rear axle. Press the Enter key to store. Finally, use the plus and minus keys to highlight box C, then press the Enter key. Using the keypad as before, enter the measurement from the rear axle to the implement's coupling point in centimetres. Press the Enter key to store the measurement. Your coupling data is, has now been entered. Please check it's correct, then press F4 to escape. Changes to the TECU will only take effect after restarting the terminal. Acknowledge this message with the Enter key. Use the plus and minus keys to highlight Send Coupling Data box. Ensure it is ticked by pressing the Enter key. Use the plus and minus keys to highlight speed settings. Then press the Enter key. The speed source box is highlighted already. Press the Enter key to change the speed source. Use the plus and minus keys to highlight the correct speed source you will be using, then press the Enter key. Use the plus and minus keys to highlight the pulses per hundred meters box, then press the Enter key.
If you know the impulses per 100 meters calibration figure, use the keypad to enter the number, then press the enter key. If you don't know the impulses per 100 meter figure, then you need to calibrate the sensor, ideally in the field. Use the plus and minus keys to highlight run in pulses over 100 meters, then press the enter key. Start by measuring and clearly marking out 100 meters in the field. Then drive the tractor to the start point and press key F1. The start number of impulses is displayed. Now drive the tractor to the 100 meter mark and stop. Press key F2. The stop number of impulses is displayed. The two different numbers indicate that the speed sensor works. Press F4 now to save that calibration and return to the previous screen. The new pulses per 100 meter figure has now been recorded and is displayed. Please note you do not need to do this if you have selected GPS sensor. Use the plus and minus keys to highlight PTO shaft speed settings, then press the enter key. Skip this step if your machine has no PTO drive or your tractor has no PTO speed sensor. Press the enter key. Safely engage the PTO on your tractor. Note the PTO speed displayed by the tractor. Compare this to the speed displayed on the Amatron 3. Press the Enter key to enter the calibration figure for the PTO speed sensor. Here, two pulses per revolution have been entered. Now compare the tractor's displayed PTO speed with that of the PTO speed displayed on the Amatron 3. Adjust this pulse per revolution figure until they match. It will usually be a factor of 2. Then press F4 to store the calibration and return to the previous menu. You have entered all the data required. Now press F4 to escape. Your tractor is now listed. Press the enter key to tick the highlighted box and activate your tractor ECU. Red tractor 580 in this example is now the active tractor. You can now press F1 to create other tractors in the same way. For example, they may have different tyre sizes. Two tractors are now listed. 
only one tractor can be active at a time. Use the plus and minus keys to highlight which tractor you're using. Then press the enter key to tick the box to activate that tractor. If you need to edit any details, press F2. To delete any unrequired tractors, press key F3. When you are happy the correct tractor and information has been selected, press key F4. You have now returned to the setup menu. The tractor ETU has been set up successfully. Remember to turn the Amatron 3 off and back on to affect the changes you have made. Thanks for watching. New videos will be added all the time.